to the offense. Obviously, the big storyline coming into the day was Cade McNamara starting game one and J.J. McCarthy starting game two. Cade McNamara came out. I wouldn't say he lit it on fire. He sort of hit some check downs, but really sh sort of struggled out the gate. I believe he was one for five the last time yeah. I checked. Uh, I, you know, he had that one big touchdown pass to Roman Wilson, but that was more Roman doing doing the, 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 the pass, the, the reception there for the touchdown. What's your overall thoughts there? Uh, obviously, J.J. came in a little late, did, did his thing yeah. and limited, what, two series, basically. What, what's your sort of thought process there? I thought he struggled out of the gate. Uh, we can speculate as to why it could be first game. Because, look, I, you know, people, you, you watch a game like that and you think everything you heard, everything the coaches said about camp was a lie. It, it was an exaggeration. And I always check the work seeing what the players say, too. If everyone's saying the same thing, I tend to believe that that's how it went down. And everyone was saying Kay McNamara had a really good camp. So let's let's stipulate that for the record. Right. But why didn't that translate to the field? Is it just first game jitters? Is it feeling the pressure of the competition? Is it a combination of the two? I don't know. But his first, like you said, four or five balls were errant. I mean, it, you know, did, did Cornelius, did CJ get his hands on a couple of them? Sure. But th those would have been really, really tough catches. Right. These are high percentage throws that – uh, the the pass to Eric All where he tripped, but even if he didn't trip, you felt like it would have been too high for him. So those kinds of plays, I imagine, and I don't know this, but I imagine if you're a defensive coordinator, it discourages you from maybe taking a few more shots. I don't know if that was on the menu mm -hmm. in this game, but I know we didn't see it, and I know they were talking about how much more explosive they were going to be. I think reasonable speculation is you're coaching the game. Think back to last year when they played Washington. Think back to last year when they played Rutgers, right? When you, you saw the offensive coordinator sort of lean into a running game and say, hey, you know what, let's, let's win this game. And so you saw the best series, I want to say, in the first half was the, the play where they ran, the series where they ran every play. Seven, pl seven plays, seven every, runs. Every play was a run. They leaned it. You had a, a split zone. That pop for Donovan Edwards, you had a tackle wrap, that pop for Blake Quorum, and they scored on a pin and pull. They leaned into what they do well. Now, to, to be fair to Cade, and Jim pointed this out, he had some drops. They were getting pressure off the right side, so and, and he got sharper somewhat as the, as the half went on. But was it the kind of performance that, that sort of says, okay, still even? I think it was the kind of performance that says, all right, J.J. McCarthy, Next week, you have a real opportunity to put some separation between you and your primary competition. So